welcome to our third episode. We thank everyone who have showed us their support and given us their feedback. Your support and feedback are really important to us. Thanks, guys. Well, Erika, let's get started. That's right. My name is Erika Porras, and you're watching Actual Magazine. I'm Vanessa San Andres, and this is Actual Magazine. We are so excited to be presenting today's episode. In today's episode, we'd be introducing you to Operation Prom. Early in this year, we had the wonderful opportunity to cover the 10th anniversary of Operation Prom. the 10th anniversary of Gala, Operation Prom. Great job. It's interesting how many of us may have mixed feelings about our prom. In our next clip, we are going to learn more in depth about Operation Prom, directly from its founder and executive director, Noel Dialaco. <music> Operations Prom mission is to provide resources, opportunity, and mentoring to students in need. And we cater to students who are at a financial need and students who are homeless, sick, or disabled. So I kind of came up with this term promologist after a few years of doing Operation Prom and I kind of think of our Operation Prom directors as specialists in the field of prom. They know everything about the prom, they know everything about dresses, so they become official promologists. Our biggest challenges is just really um, collecting a lot of plus size donations. It seems that you know each year we get so many dresses donated to us, but we don't get enough plus size dresses that are appropriate for a 17 year old to wear. You know, I think 
it's a win-win situation. When a business gets involved with Operation Prom, they feel good. We're definitely reaping the benefits and they're getting promotion too. You know, um, a lot of uh, businesses that want to be drop-off locations for dresses, they get foot traffic, you know, new foot traffic that they might not have ever gotten before. So it's a great win-win opportunity and makes you feel good. Right now, aside from collecting dresses and getting ready for the prom season, we are working on a prom campaign so that we can fund a prom for a high school or for an organization that's in severe need. And this program is called Prom Hero, and we have a website. It's crowdrise.com backslash prom hero. And people can go to that website and they can donate funds to help us fund a prom for students in need. Hearing from Noel was really inspiring. I know. It's amazing how easy we can take things for granted. Noel clearly shows how important it is to give back. Now we have some great news. Yes. Our operation company, DG Med Group, has partnered with Operation Prom to establish its Connecticut chapter. How great is that? This new partnership between Operation Prom and DigiMed Group has gained plenty of attention from our local news media. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy for everybody. Now we'll have the opportunity to attend the prom thanks to Operation Prom and DigiMed Group. And the great news continues here. What's next? You guys may want to write this down. On Sunday, April 6th at noon, Operation Prom and DigiMed Group will host their very first giveaway event. Don't forget, Sunday, April 6th at noon. This will be at the Atrium Hartford City Hall located at 550 Main Street in Hartford. Everyone must register ahead of time in operationprom.org. To find out more or make a donation, send an email to media at digimedgroup.com. We will definitely bring you coverage of that in our next episode. Can't wait for that. I'm sure we'll have a great turnout. In our next episode, we will present exclusive footage from our coverage of Premio Lo Nuestro. This is possible thanks to our production company, Digimed Group. Las canciones en español, yo creo que probablemente tenga las mejores canciones, pienso yo, que he escrito hasta ahora en español. Eso pienso yo, no, no, eso, eso no significa. In our fourth episode, we will present our coverage from a wonderful event that blended fashion, lifestyle, and music to fight bullying. Green lights against bullying to support Pacer Center. I had the opportunity to cover the 2013 edition of Miss Connecticut Belleza Latina and the Northeast Galaxy pageant. And by the way, Erika, everyone asked me about you Aww. and they all sent you their love. Thanks, Vanessa. And so do I. And I really hope I can go next year. Now, in our next episode, we will share with our viewers some highlights from our coverage of the International Beauty Show in New York's Javits Center. Help me somebody. Well, let's go. So there's great material to cover. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and follow us in social media to stay informed with our latest. And don't forget, visit us on Sunday, April 6th at 12 p.m. at the Atrium Hartford City Hall located in 550 Main Street in Hartford. Operation Prom Giveaway. Don't forget, you cannot participate unless you register ahead of time at operationprom.org. By the way, we will love to meet you and have you featured in our show. 
Thanks for watching, and remember, an actual magazine, the accent is on style.